What's up and welcome back to Gamers Digest, here are with episode 4 of Hogwarts Legacy. As always, if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to subscribe. In the last, last episode ended off, we fought off the trolls in Hogsmeade, then we had to repair Hogsmeade. I went ahead and did that, and then fast traveled back off camera, just because that's pretty simple stuff. So then you get an owl from Professor Fig, and he wants to meet with you, so that's where we are now. I'm going to go ahead and let's talk with Professor Fig, and I'll let this cutscene play, and I'll talk to you guys after. I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Well, well, well. Professor Fig wants us to go ahead and report to Professor Hecate's class. That way we can learn a little bit more defensive charms. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember guys, up on the d-pad's gonna track your quest. That way you have an idea of where to go in this giant castle. So. I'll talk to you guys once we get to Professor Hecate's class and we begin to learn more charms. Revelio. Ah, I believe we have some matches. All right, guys. So here is a good example. So if we're gonna go ahead and look at our quests in the logbook. Right here, you'll see this has a lock over it. And that says you must learn the fire making charm before you continue the story. So right now, that challenge is locked. So let's go ahead and talk with Professor Hecate. And she should teach us that charm. So I'll let this conversation play out and I'll talk to you guys after. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Well, Professor Hecate gave us some prerequisites we need to do in order to learn Incendio. So let's go ahead and do that. We got to win two rounds of the court. We have to win two rounds of the Crossed Wands. And what the Crossed Wands is, is it is that duel that uh, Sebastian Sallow puts on. So we're going to go on over and visit our buddy Sebastian. And we're going to participate in a couple rounds of the dueling that goes on over there. So again, up on the D-pad. 
out. Right there's a field guide page, so if you guys are following me, make sure you collect it. Just collect as many of them as you can. So another field guide page is right there, and I'll see you guys once we go ahead and get to... Here we are, guys. We made it to the dueling area, so right here, it wants us to speak with Luke. It wants us to speak with Luke and Brattleby. So let's go ahead and do that. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. We just went ahead and joined the club, so we got to initiate the round, break through yellow shields. Like I said, guys, yellow spells are gonna break through yellow. So, in this dueling, I mean, it's kind of good to focus on one person at a time. That way, it's just simpler. And just go ahead and mark these wizards and witches. They're quite easy. I'm not gonna lie. So just go ahead and do that. Remember, yellow spells break yellow blocks. If you used Accio, it wouldn't hit. So you need to use Levioso first, or you need to stupefy them, and that will also break their guard. And as a fully initiated We need to do member, one more duel in order to learn Incendio. So when Lucan is done talking, we'll go ahead and do another duel. Again, congratulations on your first crossed ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Right now we need to do a uh, dummy training. So as you can see at the top of our screen, it's going to give you a combination. So I want you to start with Accio and then the blue uh, stars are just regular quick attack. So you're going to want to head to Accio. One, two, three, four. And that's a whole combination. And then a new one's going to pop up now. So now I want you to use the Levioso. One, two, three, four. And make sure you do this somewhat quickly because you have to do it all before he lands. So this one wants you to Levio. So three quick attacks and then an Accio. So let's see how that goes. And just like that, guys, we're taking out the training dummy. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. We should just have to do one more round of the crossed ones, and we Hello, should be on our way to head back to Professor Hecate yes, and it. learn Incendio. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? I'll be we'll duel so. alone. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? We got a little apologies in advance. A little 3v1 going on. That doesn't really seem too fair, but it is what it is, I guess. Love you. Akio. Potato. Come on. Super fine. Love you. Super fine. You're better than that. Super fine. Akio. So they can, they can regenerate their shield, oh, that's not cool. 
Guys, you should try to lock onto them. It does make it a little easier. Just like that, little 3v1 action is done. They're really no match for us. So just like that, we took on three wizards and witches and we took care of them just like that we completed the prerequisites for professor hecate so after lucan is done talking we're gonna go ahead and head back to professor hecate and i'll see you guys once we get there here we are back with professor hecate so let's go ahead and talk to her and learn incendio and then we'll go from there i finished all of the tasks you gave me professor hecate glad to hear it then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep so you guys remember steady. how to do this. Let's go ahead and learn it Just like that incendio was learned so purple's a force yellow is a control Red is a damage and then this is usually like a utility and we'll get to these later once we get there so let's go ahead and it wants you to add incendio into your wheel so for right now we're going to get rid of reparo we'll go ahead and add incendio you're just going to want to hold the right trigger and then go select it over here and then hit the corresponding button to the side you want to put it on feel free to practice in the classroom before you go i've set up a few targets for you just like that, Sendio was learned. She set up a few targets for us in here. So let's go ahead and blast him. Oh. You're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the crossed wands and us learning Incendio. In next episode, we will go ahead and do the journey into the Forbidden Library after we talk to Professor Fig. As always, if you guys enjoyed the episode, subscribe and check out the rest of the episodes if you're behind. There will be a link to that right here on the end screen. As always, thank you.